Hi everyone, it's Angela here today. Today our video is going to be on shared mailboxes. How to access and use a shared mailbox in Outlook on 365. I open up my Outlook to show you. So to use a shared mailbox, you would have had granted permissions on that box so that you have access to it. You click on your profile icon open another mailbox type in the mailbox that you're after mine is payments payments comes up and i'm able to open it because i've been granted permission if not i would get an access denied so as you can see this is my mailbox and this is the shared mailbox now you'd probably know you'd use a shared mailbox because you and someone else is using multiple people use shared mailbox to follow through you know, processes like the payments one, for example. So you can send a new message from here as payments or on behalf of payments. This will depend on the level of permissions you've been granted. The beauty about a shared mailbox is that all the sent items are gathered in one place and all the incoming emails are gathered in one place. So that's a very quick way of accessing a shared mailbox. Now, if you are going to be using this mailbox frequently you'd want it added into your items here in your own outlook to do that you just go onto folder right hand click add shared folder type in the name payments or the name of your mailbox and simply add it and it will you'll find it here now, once you're granted permissions by your IT or the owner of the mailbox and you use a desktop Outlook, you will find that you will get the extra mailbox as it is automatically in your Outlook desktop version. But this is how you add it in your web version if you want to consistently see it here. And again, you can send as the mailbox or on behalf of the mailbox, depending on your permission level. And that's simply how you use a shared mailbox. Very useful to know. I hope you find this video useful. Like and share um, this video and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button if you want to see my next video. Leave me a comment to let me know what type of videos you'd like to see and I will do that for you. I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for watching. Bye and see you next time.